Welcome to the evening meditation. This is a meditation that I learned years ago when I was in psychic school in San Francisco. And I found it to be an invaluable meditation and healing process. Not just for the end of the day, but for the end of sessions with clients, classes, any time where I feel like I've been slimed by somebody during the day, or picked something up from someone else, or allowed somebody to dump their issues on me. So this isn't just a meditation for you to use at night, but one that you can use throughout your day when you need it. So to start, I want you to take a couple of deep breaths in through your nose, inhale. Exhale through your mouth. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And one more time, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And if you haven't already, allow your eyes to close. <clears throat> Find a nice, comfortable breath. And just take a second to notice how your body feels. If there's any places of stagnation, or discomfort, tension. And take this opportunity to send your inhale into those places. Fill them with the inhale. And as you exhale, imagine any tension, or stress, discomfort melting out and down the spine and into the earth. And we'll take a second and visualize a cord or a rope or a chain, any visual that works for you, extending down from your tailbone through all the layers of the earth. and connecting into the very center of the earth, its molten core. Our connection to Mother Earth and setting the intention that anything you are ready to release can move down this cord back to Mother Earth where she will recycle it. There's no such thing as positive or negative, good or bad to her. Energy is simply energy. Emotion is just emotion. She takes it, she uses it, and then she sends it back to us, all clean and ready for us to use again. And I want you to look back on your day And anything that you have noticed as we've moved through our intention, any patterns that you might have, and if you imagine a screen, so with your eyes closed as if you're looking at a large TV screen or a movie projection. I just want you to line up the things that you have discovered about yourself today, the ways that you're escaping, any patterns or stories that you're ready to release. Just line them up.
Once you've got them lined up, you are going to place a rose in front of, or just actually an under each of those. And if a rose doesn't feel appropriate for you, you can pick another flower. You can use a trash can, whatever works for you. So you've got these words, these stories, these patterns. And you want to imagine those as if they were, let's say, a bag of candy. And printed on the bag is a story, the escape pattern, whatever it is you're ready to let go of. And it's in full color. And you're going to take that bag of candy full of the story, and you're going to rip the end of it open. Thank it for its role that it's played in your life up to this point, for the lessons that it's taught you, for the opportunity for growth. And then you're going to pour that bag of candy and all of the color in the bag into the rose or the flower or the trash can, whatever your visual is. Once all the color and the candy has been dumped into the rose, you're going to take that black and white empty candy wrapper. And if you imagine that you've got a little filing cabinet behind your right ear, just at the base of the right side of your skull and the back of your head, you're just going to file that candy wrapper away as a lesson learned. And now you're just left with a rose, a full rose. Again, offering it thanks and gratitude. You're going to turn that rose to gold or whatever the visual is that you're using. And then you're going to imagine that rose exploding into gold dust. And then you're just going to gently blow that dust back to wherever it came from or wherever it needs to go, to the heavens, to the earth, to the person it came from. No attachment to where it goes. Complete trust that all is perfect that everything will go where it belongs. And then you're going to move to the next one. Taking that bag of candy that you've labeled with whatever it is you've discovered today, whatever it is you're ready to let go of. Thanking it. Opening the end of the bag, pouring the candy into the rose, allowing the color to drain into the rose. And when it's empty and all that's left is a black and white empty bag, you're going to take that and once again store it in that imaginary filing cabinet behind your right ear. I'm taking a look at that full rose. Again, offering it thanks. You're going to turn the rose to gold. With absolutely no expectation, you're going to allow that rose to explode into gold dust. and then blow that dust back out into the universe to be cleaned. And 
and then moving on to the next rose, the next bag of candy, the next pattern. Thanking it for being here for its lesson. Tearing open the bag, pouring the candy and all of the color into the rose. And when the bag is empty, completely void of color, file that bag of candy or that candy wrapper behind your right ear. Offer that swollen rose gratitude. Turn it to gold. Explode it to gold dust. And then send it on its way. And if you have more things that you need to release, let's take a moment and pause this recording. Take as much time as you need. And when you're ready, come back and start again. And now that you've finished with all of your roses and all of your patterns, your escape tactics. You're going to take one more rose and just place it on that movie screen of your mind. You're going to put a gold ring hovering just over top of the rose. And on the inside of that ring, you want to inscribe today's date. As well as your name. Thank the day for everything it's taught you, all the lessons all of the joy, the love, the sadness, everything. Take a moment to offer it a deep, deep gratitude. Today has ended. We look forward to the coming of a new day, a new opportunity. So dropping that ring into the rose Turn the rose to gold, allowing that rose to explode into gold dust, and then release the energy of the day. Just know that if you need to do this exercise throughout the day with a person or with an event, you're always welcome to use it at any time. And at the end of your day, if there is someone or something that is still weighing on you, that you can add it into this meditation to release it from your system. Place your hands over your heart. And again, we'll take a couple deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, releasing any leftover tension in the body, inhaling through the nose, Exhaling through the mouth. And one more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. I wish you a beautiful 
and restful night's sleep. May your dreams offer you everything that you need. Namaste.